Hi, I'm Sean Murphy with Night Force Optics, competitive shooter and also training manager for the company. I want to talk today about one of my favorite pieces of shooting kit, and that's the tripod. Uh, traditionally, in the precision rifle world, the tripod would be something we'd support spotting scope, range finder, but as the precision rifle sports and the, the art of sniping have evolved, the tripod has become an essential piece of kit. As we have set up here, you can see more and more shooters are finding the benefit to supporting the rifle with a tripod. We'll talk about a few different ways to use the tripod mounting gun to it, as well as some other things off of uh, barricades, things like that. Brief evolution of this, um, it's still very common to mount a gun to a tripod with something called a hog saddle or some other clamping type devices. But in 2021, we see a lot of chassis like this MDT chassis utilize a direct Arca dovetail type mount to mount directly to the tripod. This is a very useful uh, tool, a useful way to attach the rifle when the gun has to stay stationary for a long period of time. Gun gets to stay stable and you don't have to balance it with a steady tripod. A few things here, we're in a standing position. Um, this also applies to a seated or kneeling type position. When we do set up the tripod, whether we're clipping the gun in or going through some of the other ways we'll mount it, is looking at the leg position. So with the leg position, you have both clearance issues uh, as far as where you can fit your feet, especially in a confined space, uh, and then recoil considerations. So what we wanna look at is on a three leg on the tripod, have two rear legs back, but actually perpendicular to the direction of fire for the target. What that allows is when we have recoil on the gun, instead of the gun coming back and pivoting on one leg, it comes back and comes straight back down on the target. And there are a couple ways you can try and weight down the tripod if it's really windy. Um, you can put weight on it if you have a shooting partner. They can actually hold down on that tripod in a high wind or an unstable terrain position. We're trying to get stability on the gun, and however you have to do that, weight will help with that as well as leg position. Now every once in a while you might come into contact with terrain that you need to shoot with one leg back. That's okay because that's how you can hold the gun steady. But if you can, get those two legs to the rear and then creating a perpendicular line to the axis of your bore to the target. So going back to mounting, uh, there's a variety of heads available to tripods. This is a really right stuff, their anvil head. So it actually uses a lever for tension. So we loosen it, look around, lock it in place to take our shot. And there's also ball heads, which offer a similar setup. Uh, there's leveling heads with bases, so you can actually level the entire base. But regardless of what you choose, you have to attach the gun somehow. So I already mentioned, this is an Arca type mount or direct mounting. Uh, this chassis has this dovetail, this Arca mount, dovetailed into the metal itself. And there are a lot of companies that make aftermarket accessories for M-Lock, key mod, uh, AI key slots. There's a, a variety of attachments that have small adapter or long rails to uh, adapt your gun to be able to clip directly in. As I mentioned, if you're gonna use the direct clip in, it's very nice from a stability, holding it steady because the tripod's doing all the work for a long period of time. However, it can create some issues because you have a hard, hard contact between the two and that gun is absorbing any kind of vibrations or any kind of touch points to the tripod directly into your sight picture with a high magnified scope. On a competitive world, they've been playing with looking at plate attachments or bag attachments. So we'll talk about just using a bag. So if you don't have to hold the gun steady for a long period of time, but you need a quick setup, you can quickly throw you know, a support bag. There are a lot of different support bag designs, but throw it over the top and simply place the gun over the top of it, just like you would off of a barricade or some other support object. What this is doing is creating a soft layer that's isolating the gun from any kind of vibration that we're getting out of the tripod. It's not stable. Obviously, I have to hold the gun the whole time, but it's quickly able to get stable, get on target, and make a quick, clean shot. Uh, even if it's, uh, in this case, this bag's pretty stable, you know, your head design might determine what bag works better or not. And then what's probably considered the ultimate way to mount this now is actually looking at a plate type system, whether it's aluminum, polymer, you know, there are different plates manufactured that have the same uh, Arca attachment, but they're, they provide stability for that bag. So now the bag can stay still. I don't have to try and hold it or worry about balancing off that ball head and then the gun rests on top of that. So this creates a very stable system. I can still adjust 
you know, left and right or for cant if I need to, or if I'm shifting my position. But now, uh, in this case, the, we may need to lower the tripod a little bit, but it's a very, you know, still gives us that isolated soft cushion, but gives us a wider stable base to support the gun off of. What's important with a tripod is you try all of these. There are a, a lot of ways you can use this. Um, you know, in this case, we're just standing here on the range, but if the terrain dictated, or if we had a large object in the way in the real world, we can bend these tripod legs and get support elsewhere as needed. The biggest thing is to not limit yourself when you're thinking of how you can set the gun up on top of it. Whether you clip it in, isolate it, how you position the legs, adapt to that terrain, that's what the tripod gives us. You can solve a lot of shooting problems that way. So this is set up, you know, we've shown a couple of varieties with supporting the gun primarily by the tripod. One other highly beneficial way to use a tripod that I found is actually the gun supported by some kind of prop, uh, natural terrain, logs, things like that in the real world, and then using this for that rear support. So we'll demonstrate it on a barricade. So we'll move our, move our gun over. Um, this is particularly helpful too if the barricade or the support object is not super stable because the tripod is gonna give us that stability. So we'll move the gun over. And now we'll go ahead and take this plate off. Bob, when we move this tripod into position, you're doing so trying to balance with the gun. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky and definitely needs some practice. What I like to do is actually push the tripod past where I need to position it to get close to the gun and pull the tripod to me. What this will do is we'll actually want one light leg cutting across our body or at a slight angle because what we're going to do is we're actually going to use that to pinch those two surfaces together. What we're doing is we're letting the three legs of the tripod be super stable and actually give stability to the gun and using this soft crush bag on the front or even if we didn't have this bag we could still get a lot of stability without said bag on whatever support object and now we have a gun that's in super stable position you just have to either reach around or reach through and then come down on the gun to aim at the target but doing this it's almost as stable as shooting prone and so with this you can have elevation adjustment slide up and down if you need to pan left and right you just have to be conscious to pull that tripod and that you don't want to collapse that leg if you suddenly start finding yourself fighting the tripod you need to look at repositioning that because one of your legs is probably floating in the air ultimately with a tripod i like to say you know with a good rifle some kind of support bag and a tripod there's not a lot of precision rifle shooting problems that i can't solve